messing with the water tanks this uh this is the bad tank it um i believe suffered from some electrolysis on the bottom corner which is you can't see right now but we've been sanding it and applying epoxy and cloth on all the corners and i believe this tank is savable um, we don't use this for drinking water we use it for showers and washing dishes this tank there's a baffle and it's it still exists in the bad tank although it's a poor design it's only attached with two tack wells on the bottom edge the whole thing flops around so I'm gonna brace that one and in the good tank the one that holds water we, we coated the bottom with some Tonemic series 66 epoxy coating Um, I have some left over from my construction days. It's probably six or seven years old. So we uh, spent a while to get it mixed and we applied it to the bottom very thick. It's probably 60 mils. We put it on with a squeegee and it took two or three days to really harden. But it is now, um, you can't scratch it with your fingernails. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, coat the rest of the tank and this tank when we get through fiberglass in it. But in the good tank, the blue bottom tank, the uh, baffle came completely loose. That's this one. So I'm going to make a, a replacement, or I've made a replacement. I just haven't installed it yet. First thing you have to do is cut access holes, cut two big holes with the hole saw and connect it to dots. And using an elongated hole I can get in and put a patch from the inside. This is pretty scary because it wants to grab when you're drilling. And then I took an old uh, traffic control sign from back in the day and bent it and this is going to be the new baffle in this tank and it, it'll fit in there. I can get it sideways and I'm gonna uh, screw it through each end or pop rivet it through each end I'm not sure which and then cover the screws with epoxy glass epoxy and glass and we'll have a, a baffle that's better than original and I'm gonna do a similar thing to brace this baffle before it falls completely off like this one did because there's not much holding them got the baffle in the first tank <clears throat> and it went pretty well so now this is the baffle this is the reinforcing this one has a baffle existing but this is just to make it stronger okay and I'm using whoop. I'm using 3 16 aluminum rivets instead of screws because I don't want any problems with dissimilar metals. Pop rivets are all in and I have two layers of glass and epoxy over the exterior where they show to try to seal them up and I was even able to get the drill in that hole and get a pop rivet between the new baffle and the old baffle pretty incredible getting ready to put a coating on the good tank and actually I am not painting aluminum I am painting a thin film of fiberglass that somebody has put on here prior to our owning the boat but it's in good shape so I'm going to coat it with the um, Tonemic Series 66 high build epoxy it is um, pretty nasty stuff the uh, converter you have to mix with a power tool and the other half the blue part 
I was able to mix with a stick and uh, you mix them 50-50 and mix them up. You can put thinner in if you want, but I'm going to put it on there thick, so no thinner. Equal parts. And I don't try to pour it. I just use a scooper and I just let the scooper float around in there. Till the next time. beautiful it's done uh, because I have so much of this paint and because it's so easy to put a coat I'll probably put another coat on it flip it over paint the bottom and then the next day flip it over and put another coat on the top because this is almost as good as just brushing on um, straight epoxy it's very, it's very tough stuff this is the bad corner of the bad tank this is the corner, the low corner that I believe was sitting in bilge water and I believe there was some stray current because it just got eaten up much worse than all the other parts of all the other two aluminum tanks. So uh, I'm getting ready to put two layers of e-glass on it. Um, I have uh, some two inch and some four inch and I'm putting them on with epoxy so uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, we got the ugly corner covered up with two layers of e-glass and epoxy resin. And I have 100% confidence that this will seal the leaks. What I don't know is if the tank will continue to corrode from the inside after we get it painted and installed. And time will tell. But I think we'll be alright for at least a few years. In a few years from now, that's a whole new lifetime. Tank is ready to go back in the boat. <clears throat> I've uh, hosed it out, cleaned it out the best I can. Um, I made a hatch with uh, two layers of the uh, fiberglass, uh, the old fiberglass sealant. I glued them together and I uh, sanded off the, uh, had some paint and some nasty gel coat and stuff. I had to put a handle on it so I could hold it. So it goes inside and then it will suck up. I screwed, I drilled, put it, I put it in place, drilled little holes through both the hatch and the tank, and then uh, after I removed it, I drilled bigger holes in the tank. So I'm ready to uh, caulk it and uh, set it in place. Caulk over the screw, over the screws. Down the middle of the screw holes. And this thing will never ever come off, probably, at least not in one piece. Because this caulk is pretty tenacious. nut driver okay you see what I did put the caulk on the wrong side all right turn off the camera okay so I scraped the caulk off the wrong side and put it back on the right side and just got it on my hand we're gonna screw it down right now I'm using these little hex head screws. They're, they are 316 stainless steel. And I happen to have them.
Okay, that's it. All the screws held pretty well. Oh, I'm missing one here. And the cork oozed out like it's, uh, I got a good layer. Pretty happy with this. Good stuff. Okay, I'm finished. I'm all cleaned up. And I just remembered I wanted to put this in the tank. So now it's like, oh, Lord, do I just forget about it? But no, because there's no way to tell how much water is in the tank if I don't put this in here. So I'm going to take this back off. It's going to be a mess, but we're going to deal with it. Okay, I got the through hole fitting in. I've added a little more caulk. We're going to put it back together one more time again. Down the nut driver. Back in business. So in spite of my in spite of my best efforts to screw this up. We have a tank that's clean on the inside. It has a good baffle on the inside. We have reinforced all the corners with uh, tape and uh, epoxy. We've reinforced the fittings on the end. And I put a little through hole where I can put a three quarter inch plug just so we can, I don't know, use a dipstick maybe to tell how much water is in there because there's, there's nowhere else. There's no other way to do it. And we've covered up the uh, access hole I had to cut with some uh, fiberglass so we should be we should be good this one's ready to go back in the boat the other one is one coat of paint behind second tank got everything right first try so the tank vent is at the very back at the top and I have the vent run to this little female adapter and they also have a hole run through the center stringer. So getting to the vents is going to be easy. Now the suction for the little water pump is at the very bottom corner. So the hose will run through the scupper hole, which I'm not crazy about. But uh, it'll be alright. I'll pull it up to the top of the scupper hole. The scupper hole is real big. But the fill line is here. I'm going to have to drill through that bulkhead. And it's two feet back there and I can't see. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try to do, is put a little paint on the end of the fill line, drop the paint in the hole, and butt it up against the, the bulkhead, and hopefully it'll leave me a mark. Okay, the two tanks are installed. Well, they're not installed. They're sitting there. I'll have to pull them back out to drill the hole 